Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Ron, and I'm here through Arts for All. Arts for All. And I'm here today to do some artwork with you. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you two pieces of artwork. One is not doesn't have a title. It's by an artist named Lance Flesher. The other one is called 1922 Santa Claus, even though it doesn't look like Santa Claus. It's by an artist named Kurt Schwitters. Take a look, take a good look. Think about how you think these pieces of art are made. And when you come back, I'll have a couple of questions for you. Be right back. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing those pieces of artwork. Here's my first question. What did you see? Think about it. If there's someone there with you today, you could tell them what you saw. Here's my next question. How do you think those pieces of artwork were made? Were they painted? Were they put together with clay? Were they drawn? Were they done with pencils or or markers. Maybe some of you have guessed that each one was a collage. A collage is a piece of artwork where an artist takes paper or other material, tears the, the material into different shapes of different sizes or cuts them with the scissors, and then puts them together on another piece of paper to make a picture of some kind. The picture can look real, like a scene with people or animals and flowers, or it could look like an abstract. An abstract artwork is an artwork where the shapes and colors make a design, but don't necessarily look like something real. So today we're going to make a collage similar to the ones you saw. And in the ones you saw, what kind of materials do you think were used? Were they flat materials, just like plain paper? Or did they look like they felt like something? Yeah, they, they, the materials used look like they had some texture. That's the word we're using today, texture. That means it's something you could feel. I'm going to show you a chart now with different materials that feel differently from each other. And also some materials look like they feel different. Maybe if you actually touched it, it wouldn't feel different, but they look like they have a texture. That's called visual texture. So let's take a look at those. Think about how they all look and how they all feel, and I'll be right back. So some of the things you saw, think about how they feel. Um, some were bumpy, some were shiny, some were smooth, some were soft, some were rough. Right, all different kinds of textures, different ways that they felt. So today we're going to make our own collage with materials you find in your home that feel a little bit differently, that feel kind of unique. Let me tell you about some that I found in my house. I found some sandpaper that feels really, really rough and scratchy. I found some wax paper that looks kind of cloudy and feels kind of slick or smooth or even a little bit oily. I found a piece of wrapping paper that has visual texture. That means it, it's, even though it feels like paper, it looks like it feels like something else. This one kind of looks like it feels like a piece of carpet. I found some leftover material from a shirt that feels soft. I found some packing bubble paper. You know how that is. So it's kind of bumpy. It's also kind of smooth. And you can make it crack. I found another wrapping paper that looks like lemons. I found some aluminum foil that's really shiny and smooth, but also kind of crinkly. Now with all those kind of papers, and hopefully you'll find some different textured papers, when we make our collage, we need a background paper or a base. I found this piece of 
construction paper in my house. So when I make my collage, I'm gonna make it on top of here. So also to make our collage, we need some tools. We need a scissors. We can also rip the paper with our hands, but then to attach it to our background paper, we need glue or tape. I have a glue stick. You might have some liquid glue, even some tape. Any of those would be fine for our collage. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna zoom in on my desk and show you up close how we can make our textured collage. Be right back. Okay, so here's my background paper on my desk. And when we're making a textured collage, another thing to think of is if you want to, if you want to make a picture that looks real, what textures can you use to match up with the objects in your collage? For instance, if I'm using sandpaper, wouldn't sandpaper be good if you were making a picture where you had dirt or sand? Or if I was using aluminum foil, what can I make a picture of where something would be shiny like this? Say if I was doing a scene where there were lightning bolts, wouldn't aluminum foil be great for lightning bolts or something else that's shiny? If I had, if I had pieces of cotton, wouldn't they be great for clouds? So if you're making something that looks realistic, think about how your textured material would work. Today, I think I'm going to make something that's more abstract, just some shapes and colors and textures on my paper. So let's get started. I'm going to use some uh, this rough sandpaper, and I think I'm just going to rip the shape out. I'm going to pinch two sides of the paper where I want to rip and pull. Now I want to decide when I start working where I want to put my shapes, my textured shapes. Do I want to put them close together or apart? Do I want to overlap by putting one edge over the other? Do I want to layer by putting one completely on the other? So when you're doing your collage, think about these things while you're working. Where you want to place them and what kind of shapes you want to make. All right, so now I have my scissors. My scissors, I'm going to put my thumb through the small hole, a couple of fingers in the big hole, open and close, kind of like a crocodile, and bring my paper into my scissors. Be careful with your scissors. If you need help, ask for help. I'm going to make a bigger shape now. When I make my collage, or any collage, I like to have shapes of different sizes. Big shapes, small shapes, thin shapes, thick shapes. So here's a bigger shape made up of a shiny texture. So, so far I have rough, I have shiny. I think I'm going to use some of this material I found. So this is soft, but it also has a visual texture. I'm going to cut some of that. Sometimes the material is a little bit hard to cut, and I'm going to do my best. Now, I don't want to make my whole collage. I just want to get you started because it'll take too much time. So I'm going to take a pause, cut a few more pieces out, and when I come back, I'll have enough to assemble my collage. Be right back. All right, so I cut out some more textures. Now, when you're doing yours, you can take your time. Think about what you're doing, where you want to arrange your shapes, how big or small you want to make your shapes, what kind of textures you want to use if you want to overlap them or layer them, put them far apart or close together. So I have arranged mine a few different ways and you can do that too. You can, you can do them as many ways as you want and then when you decide which one you like the best, you can start attaching them to your paper. So I like this, it's an abstract design with different textures. I'm gonna take my glue stick and start gluing. I'm not gonna glue them all down but I just want to show you how you can get started. So for instance, I'm going to take this wax paper, put some glue on the back with my glue stick, put it down on the paper, press it down, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, 
next. Now this piece of bubble wrap was on top of it, was overlapping. I'm gonna put some glue on that. And overlap. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll do one more. And then I wanna give you time to do yours. Take this piece of sandpaper. If I was doing a realistic collage, I'd use the sandpaper to show dirt or sand, like at the beach. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if I wanted to continue this, I would glue each piece down where I planned to put it. And then my collage, when it was finished, would look something like that, my abstract collage. So you get the idea of how to make a textured collage. I'll be right back with a few questions and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so now would be the time when the video is done that you could do your collage. While you're doing your collages, your textured collages, I want you to think about these questions while you're working and when you're done. You can take all the time you need there's no rush to make your collage. All right, I'm gonna read you these questions for you to think about. What kind of different textured materials did you find in your house? What kind of textures did they have? Were they bumpy, were they soft, were they shiny, were they smooth? How did you arrange your shapes? Near to each other, far apart? Did you overlap, did you layer? Does your work look like a real scene? Does it look like a real picture or does it look abstract? Is it just a design that you decided to make? What did you create? Does it have a title? Maybe you want to give it a title. If you made something realistic, do your textures match the objects? For instance, as I was talking about, if you made a beach and water, did you use sandpaper to make the sand or something that looks like that? And lastly, what new words did you use today? Is texture, is texture a new word for you? Any other new words? Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you enjoy doing your textured collage. I enjoyed being with you. And I hope that I can be with you again to do another piece of artwork. Uh, stay safe and well. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot for having me. Bye-bye.